Welcome back to Math Window. Solve the internet solutions of these two equations. a squared minus b squared is 24. b squared minus c squared is 16. How should we solve it? First, by observation. a squared, b squared, b squared, c squared. So what should we do? We have seen that b squared appears in these two equations. And a square number is always positive or equal to zero. But we have to solve the integer solutions of this equation, not the non-negative integers or the positive integers. So now, since a squared, b squared, and c squared are all non-negative, without loss of generality, we can suppose a, b, and c, firstly, they are non-negative. We have only to add a negative sign in front of each of the solutions. That's okay. So without loss of generality, we can firstly let or suppose A, B, and C are all non-negative. First, A squared minus B squared is 24, and 24 is a positive integer. It is greater than 0. So that means a squared is bigger than b squared. And since now a, b, and c are all non-negative, so then we can get a is bigger than b from the second equation, b squared minus c squared is also bigger than zero because 16 is a positive integer. So we can get b squared is greater than c squared. And the same thing, b is greater than c. a is greater than b, b is greater than c. So now we can get magic. A is greater than B is greater than C is greater than or equal to zero. From which equation should we start? Of course, from the second one. Why? because 16 is small and it's a square number. It doesn't have so many factors as 24. So now b squared minus c squared is equal to 16. The binomial formula x squared minus y squared is x plus y then times x minus y. So here is b plus c times b minus c is 16. b and c are both non-negative integers, so b plus c is positive. Since 16 is also positive, so b minus c should also be positive. Positive times positive is positive. And now, since 16, it can be factorized. 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and 4 times 4. And we also know that b plus c is always greater than or equal to b minus c. So here, b plus c is 16, b minus c is 1, b plus c is 8, b minus c is 2, b plus c is 4, b minus c is 4. Now we have to solve for the value of b and c in each case. For the first case, b plus c, b minus c. 
plus C minus C, if we add these two terms, what can I get? B plus C plus B minus C is equal to 16 plus 1 is 17. And plus C minus C be cancelled. So 2B is equal to 17. And if 2B is 17, then B is not an integer because 17 is odd, not even. So in this case, there aren't any solutions. In our second case, b plus c then plus b minus c is 8 plus 2 is 10. So 2b is 10 and b is 5. b is equal to 5. What about c? b plus c is equal to 8. So c is 3. And then now we have to solve the value of a. a squared minus b squared is 24. Since b is now 5, so a squared is 24 then plus 5 squared is 25. 24 then plus 25 is 49. And a squared is 49. So a now is 7. And for the third case, now 2b is equal to 8 and b is equal to 4. In this case, c is equal to 0. And what about a? a squared minus b squared is equal to 24. So now a squared is 24 then plus 16 is 40, since 40 is not a square number. So there aren't any solutions. There aren't any integer solutions. So only from the second case, we do get the solutions. But we have supposed that a, b, and c are all non-negative integers. But now, a, b, and c are all integers, not non-negative integers or positive integers. They are integers. In each solution, we can add a negative sign before it. For example, a is equal to 7, it can also be negative 7. So it is positive or negative 7. And for b, positive or negative 5. And for c, positive or negative 3. So how many solutions are there? Or how many solution pairs are there? There are Eight pairs of solutions. Eight in total. Just write them down. And did you get it? Don't forget to give me some love. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.